in this problem we have a rock that's being thrown down from a bridge and it, um, it falls according to this equation um, in terms of in terms of t which is which is seconds so we need to find its velocity at three seconds so let's let me draw out a picture of what's going on here we've got some bridge it's as good as the drawing gets and we got a person here and they're throwing a rock right now clearly the rock from gravity it's going to accelerate right it's going to pick up speed so the function for the height for how far it's fallen is given by I'm going to give it as h h of t is equal to 4t plus 4.9t squared so this is going to be the distance of how far it's fallen so for example at 0 seconds it's fallen 0 so at, at time equals 0 this guy right here is t equals 0 and then its height when I say height I mean the distance that has fallen okay I don't mean the actual height up so at 1 second that's going to be 9.9 .9 meters so this length right here is 9.9 .9 meters at t equals 1 and then the distance that has fallen at 2 seconds we can just keep playing this game you know I don't think it's a waste of time to do that you know when you're working through a problem to try to gain a little bit of confidence in what the problem's saying uh, and what is this guy's got to be these guys got to be squared um, and what's going on here I think uh, I think it's a good thing to do you know to to work through that so um, let's see I'm getting 27.6 so at t equals 2 that's 27.6 meters and then of course I should actually extend my bridge down to make this a little bit more accurate and at t equals 3 the distance the rock has fallen is 4 times 3 plus 4.9 times 3 squared now guys these are actual laws now we're, we're neglecting air resistance but I mean this isn't a bad a bad problem I mean, it's really it's really quite quite accurate here so let's um this gives me 56.1 meters so the the distance well 56.1 meters now we need to find its velocity to exactly t equals 3 so once the rock hits this point how fast is it traveling that's the question so it started at zero and then all of a sudden it, it, it gained 9.9 .9 meters so it picked up a little speed here and then a second later well it dropped even further right it's even greater so it's picking up speed and it's really picking up speed by the time it hits here so the question is how fast is it traveling well what we need to do is we need to take this function and we need to find its derivative because this is a position function its derivative is velocity so the derivative of this we can use that that quadratic rule which says 2 times the a value which is 4.9 remember a is in front of the square term not just the leading guy out here so it's 2 times 4.9 um, times the the t value okay which in this case is 3 so actually I can just plug in 3 right away plus the B value which is 4 and so that's 6 times 4.9 plus 4 it looks like so 33.4 meters per second is how fast the rock is falling
And that's it. That's all you got to do for it.